What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris, back with you with another Moon video. Uh, again, the credit goes out to uh, Bill Bryson for this particular shot, um, and I want to show you what he's got here. Um, let me give him full credit, because uh, basically this is uh, this is the video link you can see here, but as you can see, it, the credit does go to Bill uh, for this photo as well. Um, he did this video, and I did a screenshot, just like I did in the last one. Now, I want to show you why I say this. This is what he's got here, and um, he calls it, uh, you know, Canyon Lands. And what he talks about is all the way down here on the left or southwest of this crater, if you will. Now, the last video, I found a bunch of what looks like structures underneath this phenomenon. This is a crazy phenomenon going on on this moon, and set aside the lunar wave. Let's just set that aside. This here is totally different, and I don't know if it likes me. I don't know what this is. Um, you guys can give me your take on this because, to be honest with you, I don't know if this is water, some kind of glass, which is tinted to look like the the color, the same color of the uh, as the um, the lunar surface itself. Is it, like I said, is it a dome? I wouldn't think it's a dome because if you look at it a certain way with a with a um, with a telescope or high powered binoculars, because some people have done that. Um, you would actually see this thing actually protruding out of the lunar surface. And I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's what they want you to see. I'm thinking it's some kind of flat glass that either can imitate different colors. It can change colors. I mean, hell, we got vehicles now. You just a flip of a switch. You go from clear glass to tinted glass on cars. So um, at least they were coming out with it. I'm not sure if they got it out now. But so, you know, I'm wondering, and it almost has a characteristic of what looks like water. And I'm looking at this, and I'm going to just go ahead and just put this whole screen and I'm looking at this and I'm just going, I don't understand. Why does it look like a giant blur? Look at it all the way around. I don't get it. Now, I'm going to go jump back out of that. Now, I'm going to go to this here because this is just, this is just crazy. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this. Now, when you look at this, the first, I mean, I this is his picture. I didn't do a thing to it. Now, again, this is a gentleman who's been doing this for many years um, and this is just straight out of a telescope into a camera into his computer it's not from nasa not from jpl not from any of these guys but i can see that looks like a big cluster f you know what this doesn't look right period um again set along and let's settle set aside this lunar wave this this phenomenon here is just totally separate as far as i'm concerned to a certain degree and the reason why i say that is because it has it just has this weird feature about it that just happens to be in certain spots. Why isn't it in the rest of it? Is it a ground fog? Some people say, well, moon has an atmosphere. Is it, um, is, is it something else? Is it water? Is it something else? Now, I didn't see too many things there, but there is a couple of things that are, I would say, pretty large for the area that do kind of stand out. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now... I'm looking at this and I said, well, let me go ahead and just see if I can bring something out of this. Again, now you can see this really good as far as look at the edge of this. And what I mean by that, let's just go back to the original just for a second and check this out. Why is it that you can still see this area here kind of going underneath it? See that right there? Kind of like real faint. Um, let me spin this around because this is a whole lot easier to see. In fact, I'm going to let me just bounce out of here a little bit. And this way we can actually rotate this and see exactly where we're at. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this again, and it almost looks like like here's a good example. Here's another area. Look at just these weird areas, literally going, stopping, going. You can see them just faintly into this this phenomenon, this weird thing going on here. Again, right here, and it looks like it goes into what looks like almost like as the same characters as you would see landmass going into water. Now, again, this here. And it goes and it disappears. And you can see it just faded and it goes like into the into this whatever this is. Now, again, this area here, you can see it actually going into it and it gets faded out. Um I don't know. Guys, I mean tell me, what do you what do you guys think this is? I personally think this is two things. Um I'm not sure if they call it water, although if it was water, it wouldn't be hard to, to understand because think about this. If the ground is a certain color, like it gets if, if the moon had an atmosphere just like Earth, you'd probably see blue oceans because I think, I believe you actually get a lot of that color from, you know, the atmosphere and the sun, the way it goes through the light, you know, spectrum, so on and so forth. But you also have water depending on the actual base of the ground under the water. 
Um, so that has a lot to do with it. But you can see a lot of this here. Like here's another good example. Check this out. Right there, you can see the ground looks okay, but then right underneath, you can see what looks like something under it. And I'm saying to myself, this is either A, water, or B, this whole area going right across is some kind of glass or protection area or something like that. And this is far deeper under here than what, it's, than what we see with the eye. Now, I'm gonna, the reason why I rotate is another reason. And I want you guys to see this before I do a thing to this picture. So I'm not being blamed for saying, oh, look at you modified the picture. No, I'm not modifying the thing. Check this out. Here. Here. Looks like it does this. And the reason why I said it looks like it does this, because I'm going to show you this in a minute. Nice 90 degree angle right here. Something coming out. Looks like it does this. And then it goes down. And then it, it, it kind of disappears. You can see what looks like it stops here. There's another one here faintly. Another one way down here. So it looks like land masses or something going under there. Now, here's the crazy part. Let's go ahead and just enhance this a little bit. And now you can see that a little bit better. Something doing this, and it looks like it does this. Why don't we see these shapes? And you can see there's something standing up right here or something. And this kind of goes continues onto here. Goes like this. I don't know if this is like something square here, but it looks like it does this. And it looks like it actually keeps going down, but then you can't see anything. But you can see, like, features here. Look at this. Perfect example. Like some kind of, like something like you'd see like in, you know, uh, like almost like Florida. When you look at the United States, it has a peninsula type thing sticking out. I'm not saying that's what this is. I'm trying to give you guys an idea of what I'm seeing here. Um, there's something here. And I don't know if these are many things. And it's just because it's so blurred and so hidden. that you can see this all the way down here. It goes all the way down to here. Very faintly, but it's there all the way down. There's some other things over here. Very faint. It makes you wonder what the hell is doing this. Now, let's go a little bit more. And again, you can... And here's the funny part. Look at this. You notice how when everything's all white, if you were to back out of this picture, eh, you wouldn't think nothing of it. It's just a smooth area of the moon, and you wouldn't be none the wiser. But, since, but the second you color this thing or just enhance it, you can see this really well. Look how much that stands out. What does that? And again, you can see right here on the edge. Here's the edge of it. And yet, you can see something actually inside this phenomenon or this area. Call it what you will. What does that? Look, you can see this thing come down like this. Kind of goes in the hair and kind of fades off. Right here and then right here. And then you don't see the rest of it. You don't see any of it down here. So it makes you wonder, what is this thing hiding? Look at, here's another one. Here's another area. This thing is going off and it's being, either this is intentionally being hidden under here. And it looks like it's going down. If you notice, most of the things look like they're going down into this area. I don't know. Um, is it just trickery of the eye? But you can clearly see this here. Now, let me zoom back in so we can see this a little better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back out. We got this right here. I'm just gonna go back out just a hair bit. And I don't know this this thing's coming down into here. I I don't know, guys. I don't know if this looks like some kind of square item here, but I can't be sure. Now, what you will see, and I didn't notice this until after, this kind of blew my mind. There's something standing right here. I don't know if you can you guys can see that, but it looks like it does this darker area here and another one here and you'll see it looks like it goes like this here and then this thing continues on now whatever that thing is i couldn't tell you but let me do this let me zoom back in and get rid of that right there and i'm going to show this a little bit better as we go along so now let's go a little bit deeper into this into this here now what i try to do is again bring and pop anything out that we can see any shapes anything of any value in this now, you can start to see these things. Are starting. To, you can actually see this now. Look at it. It goes flat. It goes across. Something round. At least it's looking at a dock area. I'm going to zoom this in a second, guys, so don't worry about that. It, it simply doesn't make sense. There's something in here. Almost looks like structural. 
Now, what these are, I honestly couldn't tell you. I really don't know. But you can see like this. I don't know if there's multiple things here because you can see that there's, it's, it's, it's meant to be covered. Now, I don't know what this stuff is. A lot of this bottom stuff could be just trickery of the eye and just nothing more than just this could actually be artifacts of the picture. I don't know. But these here, these here in this section here, I don't believe that for a moment that that's, that that's natural. I just don't think so. Let me go a little bit more again and we'll try to bring this, a little bit more of this out right here. And you can see it very faintly, but there's something there. And again, it's being hidden under whatever this is. Now, you know, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in these pictures, and this doesn't make any sense. Um, and by the way, just to give you guys an idea, you guys will get this video, so don't worry about that. But as you can see where I have it at the 515 stamp, there it is. All I did was rotate the picture from what it was. And the reason why I did this is because you want to see the actual moon if you were looking at that surface of the moon. Being like this, you really can't see because it's on whatever these items would be would be on their side. So, I mean, you can flip it upside down if you want. And there's a whole lot of crazy things you can do about how would you build it? You would build it on a, you know, like this on the surface itself. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, what do you guys think is going on here? This, to me, I don't even know how to explain it. Is it possible that this is water and that it's kind of like the Atlantis? Uh, if you think about Atlantis, it was both, well, it was supposed to be a high-tech city um, above water and then it had a great uh, cataclysm and it sank to the bottom of the ocean. Some believe that it was actually a domed city under the water. There's so many different ways you can that this tale has been told that it's hard to tell which one is the, tr the true one. Another thing I want you guys to understand and, and notice, and this is just crazy. Now... Last time I was in this, his, the last video I did of Bill Bryson's picture was that because you could see this here, all of this area, when I looked at this here and I'm saying, okay, um, maybe because it's in the bright area, it seems to be bringing it out and you can bring out the blur better. I don't know. No, that's not the case because even in the bottom here, check this out, it's still blurry and has a blurred out area. You can see the difference between here and here. Something doesn't make sense because you should not be seeing this blur area. And then this is completely fine. Well, within reason, you can see that. See the difference of transition from here to here. You can see what looks like this area right here is completely, from this point on, is blurred. From this point over here, it's pretty clear. It doesn't have a blurred air, out area. So what gives? What's going on? And this is in the dock area. So this is what I want people to understand. It's not just a dock and light thing. It's an everywhere thing or a spotted thing, I should say. So there's a phenomenon going on in this moon that I'm not sure of. And maybe you guys can throw your ideas in. I have heard you guys say, some of you guys say, well, I believe it looks like um, it may be water. Some of you guys agree with me. It might be like a glass type thing that literally overlays this whole length of this thing. And it's blocking whatever's under this. And maybe they can change the... the color, if you will, or uh, uh, tint the glass, so to speak, to match the actual lunar surface so nobody's none the wiser? I, I don't know. Um, but there's clearly something. I'm looking into this thing big time. Um, it's not just uh, Bill's pictures, but others. So I'm trying to see more and more of this stuff. And I just noticed something here. I don't know what this is. But this is weird. Looks like it does this here. See that? Now that may be just a shadowing on the ground or just some kind of sh uh, the dark areas bleeding onto this area but i just kind of looked at that real quick and i said what the heck is that um but regardless guys give me your take on this thing and I, I know you guys have already um i'm just curious but i'm telling you right now there's far more i mean look at come on crater craters 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 areas everywhere you look everywhere there's craters all the way around here suddenly you get this one area just like the last video i did suddenly there's some 90 degree angles there's in this particular blurred out area. Why Why do you suppose that would be? Why do you suppose there's suddenly different shapes or in what looks like intelligent shapes compared to the whole rest of the outside? Why is it like that? Why do you see these here? Again, and I went over this a few times, but why? We'll do it like this. And then it goes down, slopes over to here. And you don't see the rest of that. And like I said, you can see these other little, I don't know what, again, why don't we see this, these weird funky shapes and these things 
running across the ground on the outside of this. It's only in the blurred areas. I don't know. Um, but we're looking into it. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt in my mind there's more going on in this moon than meets the eye. Again, is it water? Is it something to do with a glass? Um, it kind of looks like more of a water thing. Or is it something they can? It's, it's possible they can do that can actually just blur a certain area and you'd be none the wiser. Now, if this came from NASA, JPL, ESA, or ESA, um, I would say it's been manipulated and obfuscated. But this is not. This is from an amateur uh, <laughs> astronomer. I want to say astronomer. Um, but again, you got here, this lower right corner, and you got this whole area here that's completely blurred out. What phenomenon does that? What does that? And this is above the ground. It doesn't look to be anything. This area right here doesn't look right in this area here. Does not look to be dark, meaning has depth. It doesn't appear to be, but yet it's blurred out. Why is that? I'm sure the camera's not going, hey, I'm just going to be, you know, choosy and just start blurring out different parts of the picture. I don't believe that. And you can see this on a lot of moon pictures. Just check them out. And why is it that? Now, you'll see the ones from, you know, NASA, JPL. They're even more manipulated. They're, it's like they're manipulated on top of what you're seeing here in this picture. So I don't know. Uh, this is a phenomenon that's definitely worth looking into. And uh, by God, I'm going to be doing that. Um, but anyway, guys, I don't want to make this one super long. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys see that. Again, you'll get uh, uh, Mr. Bill Bryson's uh, link in this too. Uh, again, I think it was at 15, I mean 515, I believe it was. Yeah, 515 on the timestamp. You could check this out for yourself. Here it is. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. I think Bill did a great job on this, and he, he may be a good topic on the on this uh, um I'm going to try to, again, I'm going to try to do another hangout, another broadcast uh, come this Saturday. So, again, stay tuned for that. It might be a last-minute thing, but just stay tuned for it. Um, and a lot of you guys already know how to jump up there now and ask the question through your comments, which is greatly appreciated. And I love the idea everybody can get in on this. But this may be one of the big topics on this because uh, you're going to like what I've got to say. Not just this and what I think about the lunar wave. Um, some people have also brought some things to light. Uh, about this particular wave too so you know that'll be one of the big topics that's for sure and uh there you go anyway guys i'm not going to keep it very long i'm just going to just make this one short but nonetheless this is definitely a phenomenon hiding anomalies at least on, I, in my personal opinion they are they're hiding some kind of anomaly um uh, you know whether it be a structure uh uh maybe something to do with the way the moon's built I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with framework or I, I don't know. I, of course, this is pure speculation. You guys know that. We can't be sure. So it's all speculation. Um, yeah, I do still have some, some of these naysayers come along once in a while saying, oh, it's nothing but speculation. And, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I don't deny that. I'm not trying to make something that's not there. I'm just saying, why is this particular? Forget about any shapes that are inside the circle. Why is that blurred out there? And why is it in the lower right corner that's also blurred out? But yet the rest of it is decent resolution. I mean, I wouldn't call it anything, you know, 10 being great like DVD quality. Uh, I call it a 4. So, you know, it's not great, but you can see with it spot blurred. And that simply, to me, does not make sense. Um, again, you guys can get these pictures up on Google+. Plus. I already put the other ones up there. I put them on this morning, I believe it was. So check that out. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. Stay tuned for more of these. I may be looking more into his work as well as other uh, uh, Mars pictures, which I do have coming up. So stay tuned for those. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next pick.